over the years, you got so many years and so many players. Who are your five favorite play IU players to watch play? Well, again, you know, Isaiah, you know, is probably one of my favorites, you know, mm -hmm. because I watched that young man come in. And I was like, damn, what's what's the hype? You know, what, right, yeah. you, know <laughs> you know, who the hell is this little guy? He and, came, you, know, you played with him in the Pan Am game. Yeah, and, and that's where it's, yeah, yeah. That's so when he, he tried out for the Pan Am team against all the great college players and all the great top point guards. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting in the field house over here, and I'm like, who the hell is this kid? <laughs> Right. And I mean, he ran, ran through that camp like he owned the camp. Right. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, wow. Right. This guy here is pretty special. And and it held true. You know, I mean, Isaiah's had a career like no other Absolutely. You know, player that's played here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Big Mac has got to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we ain't got a chance to see Big Mac. Yeah, well, I did. You know, he's got to be at the top, man. Absolutely. Big George was, I mean, a man child when it came to, mm -hmm. you know, dominating his position. I mean, right. his whole career right. was yeah. that way. And yeah. uh, I've always looked up to Big Mac, you know, and the fact that he came from Indiana, it was, was special. Mm -hmm. Wayne, Wayne Rafford, yes, you sir. know, probably – you know, being my best friend for 48 years. And when I say we never had a hiccup, man, we never did. Good guy, um, was special for me because, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, he he's the guy that jump started me. So <laughs> I put him right, you know, in that in that category. Oh. Randy Whitman, you know, Randy Whitman. who who's who was right there as well. Yeah, um, yeah one more, one more. And I don't know, probably. I, probably Grunwald because I, I say right. Glenn because when Glenn came in, a lot of people don't know about Grunwald. Grunwald to me w was, and, and maybe Larry Bird ain't the word to, to throw out there because Larry Bird, when I'm starting mm -hmm. my team, Larry Bird's on my first team. Right. Oh, team. Oh, everything, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I agree. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm a Larry and Bird I'm a fan. Big, to the I'm team. a big Larry Bird fan, yeah. but Grunwald – had overtones like Larry, mm -hmm. you know, he could pass, he could shoot, but his knees just wouldn't allow him to yeah. play, man. And, mm -hmm. and it's a shame because Indiana fans, who's your nation really never got to see a guy yeah. who I thought could really, really be a great player, man. Right. Mm -hmm. So Grunwald is that other guy, man, because I've just had so much respect and, and love for Grunwald over the years, man. And, and that's crazy because you could have, you could have possibly been on the front court with Larry Bird, huh? Yeah, that yeah. would have been a that would have been oh a beautiful God. if he had kept his ass right here in Indiana. Right. Would have been. <laughs> oh my! God. I would have been riding his coattail for two years. Boy, that, that's, boy, that's three. That's three national championships minimum. Like that's yeah. You might have yeah. slipped up in one. Somebody might have got you. That's three. <laughs>